G'day, fellas, and welcome to week three of Outback Octagon 2. We are here. Finally, it is happening. And players have just spawned into what might be the largest octagon map I think I've ever seen. We got some crazy spawns for you. Take a look at this one right here, Simtom, the king of the castle. He is so far up in the sky right now. He's like Tal Backman singing a hit single out of the 1990s. It is absolutely beautiful. He's so high. Let's introduce our players. In the north of the map, on the color purple, playing as the Delhi Sultan. It's Donati. On the east side of the map, in the color blue, playing as the Delhi Sultan. It's State. To his south, in the color orange, playing as the Chinese. It's Liquid Demu. Further south, on the color red, playing as the Abbasid Dynasty. Izzy Esports Marine Lord. Further south than him, in the color yellow, on the Malians of all civilizations, it's Simtom. Slightly above them, in the center of the map, playing as the Ottomans. It's Puppy Boar. Just below him, in the pink, playing as the Mongols. It's Faye. And last, but definitely not least, on the west side of the map, as the Delhi Sultanate, isolated, encapsulated in gold, in the color teal, it is Avery. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is game number one of week three. I know that there's a lot of numbers in here, so I'm going to further complicate things and say you guys like numbers. I like numbers. What if I told you I've got a whole bunch of numbers right here? There you go. That is the end of week two point total coming in hot for all you guys out there. You've asked for it. Here it is. So you can see the leader at the moment. Puppy Paw, Anatan, Urk, Beastie, Striker, Marine Lord, Divine, and the players that are going to be playing today in game one. Well, we got them in the game. Uh, we got Puppy Paw, we got Marine Lord, we got Don, we got all the guys. So that's where we're at. Obviously, Faye, State, Demu, and Simtom gonna be looking to get on the board. Obviously, Simtom already on the board. They're gonna be looking to really get into striking distance. Want to try and hit that top 16. And of course, for anybody else wondering, what possible map could we have right here? It is the return of the great Mega Random. A single sacred site sits in the middle of the map guarded up by a coastal trade post and a relic. Of course, it's not the only sacred site. There's a second one on the south side of the map and a third one on the north side. So don't expect to see a sacred victory unless you've got a man that's as slippery or a woman as slippery as a, as a snake, a slithering snake. And don't get me wrong, this ain't, uh, this ain't, there, there's no viper in this game, at least not, not for now. But uh, if there were, I suspect he would be able to scale these sites. But who do we think is going to be battling out first? I suspect we're probably going to see Demu going up pretty heavily here against State. Now, there, there's a little bit of history in this game right now. Now, for anybody who is unfamiliar with Outback Octagon 1, let me fill you in with the lore. I am a bit of a lore master. Uh, Demu, he, he didn't play Outback Octagon 1 after. I think it was this, the third round. In the first round, I think he went out, and then the second round, he got taken out by Averly. Now, there was a bit of a situation there, but Averly is in this game, so I, I'm I'm hoping that we see a showdown. I hope the end is going to be Averly versus Demu, and it's going to be like Demu strikes back. That's what I'm wanting to see. I want I want to see the, the resurgence of Demu, but look at this already. Can't in a little bit of trouble here for Faith. She's got to be careful. But anyway, I'm curious to see exactly how much State's going to be able to, to deal with with this in the early game for anybody unfamiliar with uh, with this matchup. So we've got the Chinese down here. Compare that to State, who's on the Delhi. This is not a good matchup for State. This is a great matchup for Demo, especially considering the proximity that he's got here. He's looking to try and take, neutralize this gold. Probably going to be putting a Barbican down, I would suspect, on this town center. So expect to see aggression. But, you know, another thing that I'm just going to point out now, I, I wouldn't... Hello, villager. Oh, look at this. Puppy Paw manages to keep the villager alive inside the middle of the wood line. So there is a little bit of a rule. I will just tell you guys now. 
If you get a scout stuck at the beginning of the game, it is a remake for you. Uh, but if you get a villager stuck, it is not a remake. If there's two villagers that you've got stuck, then it is a remake. Uh, so basically, uh, if, if you get one vill stuck, you're, you're stuck with it. You're, you're stuck, step vill. That's just the situation. Um, and yeah, fortunately, Puppy Port is able to, to get a little bit of work in there. But you can already see Demo is just doing a little bit of crazy stuff right now. We can see the force drop-off coming through. Barbican going to be getting dropped down. I'm curious how aggressive he looks to come with this. Now, keep in mind that Vils could be pulled, and he's not going to go aggro at all. Instead, just says, look, I just want the gold. And I think that's the right call. I think for me, the big question is, how does Demo look to play this? Because he's, he can very easily go into that second TC uh, if he wants to. But the problem is, if he does go into that second TC, he doesn't have a lot of space to work with. And ideally, you really want to... You, you want to get space quickly. So being able to take out the Delhi Sultanate player if they're right next to you uh, is going to help him a large way. So I'm, I'm going to be expecting that. In addition to that, we also see Puppy Paw in a bit of an awkward spot. Now, of course, this is Mega Random. And this is the consequence of Mega Random maps. Puppy Paw was just like, well, that looks like a good spot. I'll put my Town Center there. Puppy Paw is the point leader at the moment. That's important to remember. So taking him out early, it, it lowers how many points are going to go to him and it allows the, the rest of the points to be distributed in the game a little bit more fairly because if Puppy Paul wins this game he's just going to be rocketing ahead and keep in mind at this point with Puppy Paul's points so high there's no way he doesn't make it uh, to the finals at this point but the first of the age ups does come through and it's going to be Demo aging up with the Barbican on the front line now it looks like he's going to be going for a bit of a standard opening here we do see him moving towards that Song Dynasty. A lot of villagers on food for the moment. Going to be dropping down that village as well on the defensive. Up against State, we see the Tower of Victory about to come through for him. Now, the question is going to be, how does he look to play it? Does he move into Archers? Does he move into Horsemen? He's going to be dealing with the Sacred Site in the north, but keep in mind, there is a Delhi player in his vicinity who may think twice about allowing that Sacred Site to stay with him. So, it's going to be a challenge, and maybe... Maybe that's something that State says. He says, hey, let me just kill Demo and then you can try and take me out or maybe you can try and take the sacred site. Knowing Don Artie, he's just going to send a scholar down there and say, that's my sacred site. I don't know what you're doing. Get away from it. But Don going for an age up now. It's going to be the Tower of Victory. Uh, getting dropped down here for him. Let's check in over on that west side. With a few sheep under the town center right now for Averly, a happy little camper. If you do, if you don't. Uh, we've got the age ups coming through. Symptom going to be going for the Mansa Quarry. Now, one thing to note, he's not going for the trade landmark. If we were going to be trading on this map, there are quite a few trade posts. There's two here in the middle. Coastal trade post in the center. Another trade post over towards this side. I think that's kind of the way that Mega Random spawns. Um, just simply the, the trading posts are towards the middle of the map. And I honestly, I like that design choice. I think instead of like nerfing trade and like, or, or changing the way that trade works, just, just push the trading post towards the center of the map. It reduces the strength of trade. Also means that you've also got, you've got to worry a little bit more about, you know, defending your trade, that sort of thing. Well, the age up's coming through. Down on this south side, Marine Lord, he's a little bit isolated. I say a little bit. He's, he's got the, uh, the economic wing coming through for him. Uh, but I guess one thing to note is someone is hiding in the hills. Marine Lord obviously scouts this. And simtom has got his back to the wall. Now, don't underestimate Simtom. For anybody who doesn't know, Outback Octagon 1, Simtom actually came third in Outback Octagon 1. He knows how to play it. He knows how to play this, uh, he knows how to play this, uh, this game, this game mode. So I'm going to be looking out for him, but we do already start to see him starting to take the uh, the second gold vein. Nice little defensive outpost coming through for Demo as well. Obviously, a lot of food in here. Wants to try and protect it. Doesn't even opt for any walls or anything like that. Just very fearful of any kind of attacks coming through. Don now also going to be reaching the feudal age. Faye also aging up as well. And it's going to be Deerstones coming out for her. So no one going in for that trade landmark just yet. And Dome of the Faith coming in for Averly. Interesting choice by Averly. Averly, quite a strong free-for-all player as well, so definitely appreciates that Imperial Age Delhi might be legit. Puppy Paw in the middle of the map, though. Salt and Honey Trade Network, and I guess that makes sense, right? He's got plenty of food out here. Doesn't need to worry that much. And look at all the players that are fishing in the center. Don Artie here in the center. Marine Lord in the middle of the map. We've also got Averly fishing. Faye's jumping on the water. And we've got Puppy Paw that's here. Everybody's in on this pond, and Don Artie the only one with this safe pond. But take a look at this. Down towards the south side. Let's get in into it, because it's happening. De Demo says, you know what? I'm not going to bother with units. Who needs those things? We're just going to do it the good old-fashioned way. Towers, towers, and towers, baby. It is time to head into it. But interestingly, we don't see anybody moving into warships yet. Everyone just says, hey, man, I'm, I I'm just fishing. You, you do you. I'm happy. I'm doing me. We're all good. You know, I... 
Hey, I, I got my own problems over here. And look at this. State comes over and says, actually, I'm gonna gonna just take your berries. Don't mind me. Uh, the, the, technically, these are my berries. You can see State's moved up towards his top side. I'm curious how much Don scouted. You know, one of the big things about Don Arty that for anybody who doesn't know, uh, he doesn't like to scout. He doesn't like to build scouts. He doesn't like to make scouts. He doesn't like to train scouts. He doesn't like to use scouts. As long as he knows where his enemy is, he's happy. But we do see him scouting out this position. We'll see the Barbican of Demu very, very close to State. And that's going to give him that opportunity to say, well, actually, maybe I could pick up a couple of kills here. Sipai now coming out for Puppy Paw, looking to do a bit of damage towards Faye on that south side. Looks like we've got Warrior Scouts out on the bottom side for Simptom. Could be looking to get aggressive up against Marine Law, but Marine Law's already dropping down the third town center. And there it is, the Sacred Site. And one of the things to remember, State taking this Sacred Site right now, Don Artie's going to be like, oh, there's a Sacred Site there. I guess I'll go take it. But look at this, Compound of the Defender already coming through for the Don. He is going straight to the Castle Age, not mucking around with any of those feudal units. Now, Chukunu will be on the way here shortly. We can see Demu, he's gone through double archery range. At the same time, sieging of phase docks is happening. Light junks are coming out, but Puppy Paw is putting on the hurt. Puppy Paw appreciates it. Hey, Faye is my nearest neighbor. I got to cause some havoc for her. That's exactly what he looks to do here. But slowly and steadily, the docks are coming down. The sacred site in the north does get captured. An extra 150 gold coming through. State not going to be anywhere near that age up. Just looking to try and defend himself against Demu. The walls did come up, but the Chukunu looking to try and stop it will come to push through. State, once again defending and now look at this little sneaky battering ram coming in on the backside here for puppy paw doing the old one too come in from the top side attack from the bottom as well very very sneaky look at this warrior scouts up in the mountains imams just chilling out for the moment saying g'day to each other and back over towards this side of the map demo's starting to run out of wood this this could be an issue now he does have additional forest that he's going to be able to move to up in the mountains here Marine Lord still sitting on those three TCs. Now going to start moving into feudal age units. And this is where I start getting a little bit scared. I don't, I don't know where to look. I don't know what's happening. The battering rams making their way through. Faye under pressure already in this game. Over on that east side. Numbers increasing. Now the question is, is Don going to be looking for a kill here? He's got a lot of villagers on stone. So it could be a, 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 a point that he's going into village fortresses. And that's exactly the case. Village fortresses coming through for the Don. Nice little defense here from Faye. She manages to keep it alive, but the problem is going to be the Town Center. Town Center under pressure. No plus one range number coming through just yet for Puppy Paw, but the outpost does go down. Plenty of plenty of uh, archers in here. Looking to try and pick off some villagers. Village account for Faye Chan, sitting at 41 at the moment. Compared to Puppy Paw, he's on 44. So not a huge amount of bills going down for Faye just yet, but they're starting to. Starting to begin going down, but we see Vils getting pulled. Looking to try and tank up against this Sipahi. And indeed... The attack will be unsuccessful for the moment. These two locked in bitter combat. The question is going to be whether it's, it's going to be a decisive victory or not. Take a look at this. Villagers now going to get idled out on this Barbican. There were five villagers here. You can see the double battering ram going to start making its work over on that side. Now, I, if I gave a favorite to, to one of these sides, it's still towards that Chinese civilization. I think it's an incredible sieve in this matchup. But you've got to be very careful. There is a sacred site safely captured. At the moment, by state on that top side. Now that battering ram will go down. Demo forced back away from this. He's going to start heading into a second barracks as well. Faye manages to keep herself alive a little bit longer. Towards the base of Averly. He's picked up three relics for the moment. And now starting to go into those keeps. Just as we expect. And a lot of relics starting to come through for Don. Barbican does go down. Villagers now going to be exposed. Demo in trouble. Losing out access to that gold means he's going to be in a really difficult spot in this game. Because without access to that gold, it's going to mean Zhuganu are going to come a lot harder. And he's in a really tough spot here as well. Like, there, there, there is a way out for him, but I don't know whether he's found it. And there is gold over the hill. Somewhere over the hill, there is gold. Demo going to be holding on here. How much gold has he got? He's got 22 gold in the bank. So at this point, you've got to just send your Imperial officials. You've got to get them in an overdrive. He's got all of his production inside this position, though. So he is going to be pulling in the gold pretty well here. So maybe able to maintain some pressure with that. But he's not going to be able to hit those super duper high numbers. And that could give State an opportunity to look to go castle. We head back towards the base of Fei Chan, and she's under pressure. A lot of damage now going to be looking to be done. Town Center. Definitely seems Puppy Paw wants Faye to get on. Go on, get Faye. Get on out of here. Meanwhile, down towards that south side. 
Looks like Marine Lords began moving into Lancers as the Abbasid Dynasty expanding out towards the center. We're going to pick up some relics himself. The double battering ram. Looking pretty strong right here for Puppy Paw. He's managed to leverage this water economy into something great. Something magical here. At the same time towards that east side. Demo now going to start moving into battering rams himself. He's up to three battering rams. Could look to try and push Prod Poke around that east side of the base. And Faye in trouble. King is inside the town center. Looking to try and take out these archers. Doing a pretty decent job of it as well. We're right on board with the Don as Faye is really threatened in this spot. Lance is going to be moving out and look at this Don Artie. Going to be looking to try and pick up a kill. He's got units heading towards that position. He's after the king. That's, that's all he cares about. He just wants a king. Give me a king. That's all I'm here for. But speaking of kings, Puppy Paw not going to be king today. We'll take a look at this. Do we have Averly going Imperial? We got Averly going Imperial. He's heading to the Hussar Academy. This is the Delhi Sultanate. I've just realized, is, is the chat window not working? Are you guys getting chat or what's going on right now? Because I, I'm just having a look at it. Marine Lord raiding. It is working. Okay, as long as, long as it's working. Thank you, Snooper. I, I'll try and keep my eye on it. It's a bit hard when there's, when there's this much action going on in the early game. It is hard. I mean, I, I, ideally, I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to cop out once again to the devs. Like, ideally, we could have chat in, in replays or in live games. It could work. But look, I think there's more important things to, to worry about for the moment. Uh, we got, like, pause as an option as well. But look at this. Numbers for Demo. Oh, oh hold on a minute. Demo's numbers looking good. He's up to five battering rams here. Averly reaches Imperial. Averly Imperial, Demo in Feudal. And there's, there's not just Demo. I mean, there's a couple more people. But look at this on the south side. Really putting the pressure on, on on this in this position. Symptom still in the feudal age, looking to try and get up. But the real action's over here. We've been following it in the early game. The death of Demo. He's trying his best to hold on, grasping. Now keep in mind, if he can pull together a kill here, he's going to be able to get himself on the board. He's going to put himself in a really good spot. Extra attack speed coming through for those archers. He's picked up plus one range attack, yet to pick up the plus one range armor at the same time. Attacks over back on Faye's base. She's struggling to keep her head above water. Now we've also got the town center under threat. The king is inside it. Faye reaches the castle age. Fortunately, it wasn't a king going down, but we do see the knights beginning to move in. And Don Artie says, well, well, well. If it isn't an army that is completely undefended against cavalry, we'll come back to it. Simtom reaches the castle age. King is on the ground. King is on the ground. King is on the move. He needs to pop the movement speed. He needs to pop the movement speed. He gets completely surrounded. That's going to be a good game for Simtom and Marine Lord. Going to be able to pick up a first kill for this game here. We didn't miss it, ladies and gentlemen. And look at that face still alive. Now Don looking to put pressure back over on that east side of the map. Simtom goes down as the first player out of this game. First blood going to get picked up for Marine Lord. And he puts himself a little bit higher on that leaderboard. A lot of villagers dead up towards this top side. And now State in a little bit of trouble. State going to be experiencing... Uh, well, how do we say this? Um... I mean, I don't want to say it's teaming because it's definitely not teaming. I mean, this is just the natural consequence of what happens when you spawn between two ferns. Uh, that uh, you, you turn into Zach Galifianakis. And if, if anybody knows what happened to him, I mean, it, the same thing is happening to State right now. And unfortunately, it looks like the town center will be going down. And with the TC going down, the king is on the ground. And with the king on the ground, it's not going to be safe. And it's definitely not going to be sound. Good night, State. It was a pleasure. And Don Arty picks up an assassination. And now Demu is going to try and hold on. Expanding out with a whole bunch of farms on this granary. And Don Arty says, actually, uh, those are looking pretty juicy. I might take one for myself. Meanwhile, on that west side, Faye under pressure. Now from the north, Averly beginning to make aggressive stances towards this position. Fortunately, she's got veterancy coming through. Lance is also looking to help. And Faye trying her best to hold on here. Puppy Poor, of course, with his army sits lying in wait. But Don Artie, he's just taking names right now. Don Artie underneath the town center. Demu struggling to keep his head above water. Villagers just running for their dear lives, trying his best to hold on. And the king inside the town center. I mean, at this point, he just wants to try and spam out. You can see he just wants to spam out spears, but he's got no food in the bank. The consequence of having that just terrible spawn. I mean, he's up against a rock and a hard place, quite literally. A rock and a hard place. There's no way you're getting through that. Meanwhile, underneath the town center of Faye, things not going well for her either. Early aggression. Early, I'm not going to say double teams. King is on the ground. King is on the ground. King is on the ground. And Demu surrenders. But it looks almost certain that the kill would have gone over to Don Artie anyway. There's no real contest here. So look, uh, uh, there, there's no problem with this. Don Artie still picks up the point. Don Artie still picks up the aggress the extra population space. Not a problem at all. Uh, probably just uh, a little bit disappointed at the spawn 
I mean, sometimes you get him, sometimes you get got. And today, unfortunately for Demu, it wasn't his day. When you get spawned in on something like this, it just, it feels so bad. If, if he was here by himself, if State wasn't in this corner, Demu has got a god tier spawn because he walls in the gold at the top and he's got a lovely day, a lovely game ahead of him. But unfortunately for him, it wasn't the case. State also spawned in there, but take a look at this. Take a look at this. Marine Lord says, hey, Puppy Paw, how you doing on top of the ladder? Do you mind if I, uh, I come in and look for a kill here? So it's not going to be the case uh, as to... Uh, for, for anybody wondering, there's, there, there won't be any anything, uh, any any problems with this over here. That is, that is, uh, that is no problem at, at all. But now the, 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 this might be a bit of a problem though. Marine Lord, he's already cleaned up one player to the south, and it's an absolute bloodbath this game. I mean, this is this is kind of crazy seeing how many people have fallen off this quickly. Marine Lord is very angry. Somebody annoyed Marine Lord. Marine Lord now hits the Imperial Agent. I didn't even realize this. Oh my lord, I didn't even realize. Where's the king? The king's inside the outpost. I didn't even see. Apologies for not following. I should have been looking a little bit sooner. Fei Chan might be going down here, looking to try and reposition the town center, get a little bit further away from those enemies pushing through. It looks like the outpost will survive here. So Fei, still, uh, honestly, Fei's fine. 53 villages is okay as long as she just avoids this constant aggression. And you can see, if she can redirect this aggression from Averly over towards Puppy Paw, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how long it's going to be. Where's, where's Puppy Paw's? Where's the king for Puppy Paw? I don't see the king. Did he get out? Am I blind? There should be a green Oh! Oh, we got it to the top side! Oh, we transported out! See you, mate. See you, mate. He pops out on the top side. He says, hey, I've got a new base I've been building up here. He's slowly trying to wall himself in. Puppy Paw keeps himself alive a little bit longer. Looking to rebuild up towards this northern position. Keep in mind, there, the king will get exposed. And he's very close to Don. So don't don't think that Puppy Paw's stars are all of a sudden so lucky. Don recaptures that sacred site over on the east side. Begins to throw a keep down in the center of the map. And Don Artie, I tell you what, he's working his Delhi magic right now. We got two Delhi players remaining in this game. And both of them are in increasingly strong positions here. If you had to put a favorite this game, you'd probably go with Marine Lord down the bottom. And we do see him moving with the king now down towards... Where is he bringing the king? Doesn't look like he's throwing it. Are there any keeps down just yet? Yeah, he's going to throw the keep down in the corner. Really smart move here. Got the gold vein, though, uh, which is a bit of a tough spot. I think he's probably going to just be looking to stonewall that bad boy in, which is definitely the right call here. Faye manages to keep the king inside the TC. She's trying to rebuild. One thing I love about the way Faye plays is she's very much a fighter to the very end. She will fight with one villager alive, and I love that. That, that is just... That, that is the spirit of free-for-all. I mean, it might not be the spirit of winning, but it's the spirit of free-for-all. And that's what that is. So, anyway, we get back to the action. Now, as Don Artie, still yet to think about Imperial Age, but it's coming. It's coming, ladies and gentlemen. It is coming. And once Imperial Age comes, you're going to be talking about a lot of upgrades coming through for him. But let's have a look at Averly. Averly at the moment with 12 Scholars. 12 Scholars on the field. Look at Don. Oh. Oh, Don. He knows exactly where those kings are. Marine Lord also aware of where the king is. Uh, king is hiding behind a couple of trees right now. Now, if Don Artie does the right thing, he needs to kill the knights first. He's, he's got to kill the elite lancers first and then go for the king, but the king's going to pop out the top side. But all of a sudden, it gets met by a lancer from Marine Lord. Puppy Paw trapped in the closet right now like an, a song... I think, was it R. Kelly who was trapped in the closet? There was somebody trapped in the closet and they just kept singing about that closet and how trapped they were inside that closet. I think it was R. Kelly. Right now, Puppy Paw having an R. Kelly moment. And I'm not talking about one in a court. I'm talking about one in a closet. But... Fortunately, Don Artie, he spots out the king now with the keep. Uh, Puppy Paw trying his best to keep it alive, but unfortunately... Conversion, 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 conversion! Marine Lord trying to steal away all of Faye's villages, and he manages to steal seven villages there. Eight villages, I take it back. Meanwhile, up towards the north side, Puppy Paw trying to cut himself away through the forest. A real fighter until the bitter end. Now comes in out the bottom side. He's managed to find a way through. Village is going to be pulling forward here. He wants to avoid any other snipe attempts, but unfortunately, the king goes down. Don Artie assassinates another. How many kills is that for the Don this game? Is that three kills for the Don this early on? Don is going ham right now. I tell you what, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed and it was not the Don. This guy, he's in a mood and you better not cross him because he is, well, yeah, I mean, he's taken names so far. Don Artie, three kills already. He's going ham. Beautiful spawn for him up towards the north side of the map. Only the single sacred site, though. Could look to pick up that one in the middle. 
But now Faye, she's under pressure. A lot of villagers idled out up against elite lancers, up against elephants, up against a whole bunch of battering rams. I don't, I don't think there's much of a chance here for her. She's fought a bitter fight, a battle to the end. But unfortunately, it looks like the end of the road is here. I feel like at this point, she's being marched down the street with a bell behind her. Good game. Good game, and the king's on the floor. The king is on the floor. Does she have enough to pop the movement? She doesn't have enough to pop the movement speed. And king, he's not T-posing. Was he T-posing? I think he was T-posing. Now he's trying to sneak his way out, being guarded up by a single lancer. King on the move, and she pops the movement speed. She says, see you later, alligator. Don't forget your toilet paper. And she's on. On the way. <laughs> No way! <laughs> Averly! Oh, Averly, he misses two kings! Oh, the king was in another transport ship, it seems, and Faye escapes out the backside, says, uh, well, I've got 38 villagers. I'm not giving up just yet. There might be a chance for me at some point in this game. She moves the vills now down towards that south side. Keep in mind, she's still got the step right out, so she can look to buy her way back into this game, but for the moment, she's going to have to sit on the water. Now, keep in mind, there could be a demo ship or two from Averly making their way out, but the demo ships don't do a whole lot of damage to this. Honestly, the best thing you could do is probably just look to try and surround it, and you can see right there, demo ship one, two, three, and four are coming in, but... I mean, Faye's going to get their heads up now, so she's going to be well and truly aware that uh, her king is under pressure. But, I mean, at this point, where, where do you even go with the king? It's, uh, it's, it's all over Red Rover for Faye. She's trying her best. Yeah, the demo ship just kind of parked there. She can always bring it back to the shoreline, but uh, there are knights on the shore, and Avely well and truly aware. King does drop, jump out. Oh, the demo ship oh, misses the king! And Avely assassinates Faye Chan, so... Five kills, 27 minutes into this game. A lot of action early on. But now we enter an interesting phase in the game where three players have managed to snag away. Is it every single kill? I mean, we saw Symptom go down. That was a kill to Marine Lord. We saw Puppy Paw go down. That was Donati. We saw the two over in the east. That was Donati. Faye just went down to Averly. So right now, it's a 50 pop game to Averly, a 50 pop gain to Marine Lord, and a 150 pop gain to Donati. That is a problem if you're not Donati. Because that means that Don can make more villagers than you, he can make more army than you, and unfortunately these guys, they're not paying attention to the main threat here, which is definitely in this case Don Artie. Now, when it comes to Outback Octagon, there are rules for teaming. So we say that you're not allowed to team up on somebody, except if there's a reason to do that. Now, when it comes to reasons to team, it's not like, oh, it, you know, he, he that, that guy, uh, he's, he's, he's got my gold. Let's take him out. It's, it can't be like that. It, it, it has to be something that's actually significant, something that is substantial. And what do we call that? We call that something like an economic runaway. Somebody who is trading. I'm looking at you, Wham. Somebody who is trading. Uh, that is an example. The other attempt, or the, the other way that you can look to team up on somebody is if there's a victory triggered, like a sacred victory or a wonder victory. And then the third way that someone could team up is if there was a militaristic runaway. And right now, Don is the definition of a militaristic runaway because he's got three kills. And that means he's going to be able to take these guys out, or he should be able to take these guys out one versus one. The question is going to be whether they realize that and decide to team up because it's definitely... Uh, it, well within their rights to do that. They, they could say, hey, we're, you know, the best shot for both of us right now is to turn our, our, our attention towards Don. But my suspicion is Don is just gearing himself up towards the late game. How many upgrades are we looking at here for Don? I mean, he's got a whole bunch of mosques here. Rallying. He's, he's actually just rallying a whole bunch of his scholars into these mosques. Uh, I, I'm curious to check. Yeah, lumber, lumber upgrades. I mean, we can see all the upgrades coming through at the moment for him. He's having an absolute field day up on this top side. Plenty of fishing boats out here. Don living his best life. Lots of resources for him. Gold everywhere. Stone everywhere. He's on He's on 213 villas. And keep in mind, he's got village fortresses. So he is just pumping out villages non-stop right now. Uh, and it, it leaves this bit of awkward position here between Marine Lord and Averly. Because if they decide that they want to kill each other, Don's resources are just going to be going to, to heaven. I mean, he, he's just going to be going up, up, up and up. So Don now on 219 villagers. That's a lot of villagers. Keep in mind, he's got access to plenty of keeps, and these guys are going to be making villagers where possible. I wish there was a way to see how many keeps... Actually, there is a way to see how many keeps have been made. Seven keeps so far. Don Artie's made seven keeps and 17 stone walls, for those wondering. 
Elite upgrades yet to come through for the Lancers or for the Men at Arms. He's going to be fighting against the Tower Elephants, and they look like they've been upgraded here. Averly pushing towards that top side. He's trying to find a way through. Looks like the villagers are, are moving up with outposts. So slowly trying to build that line of sight circle around the base. Donati not going to be allowing it for much longer. Still yet to get those elite upgrades. It's really key to get those elite upgrades through. But obviously when it comes to scholars, we take a look at Don. He's sitting on 20 scholars, which is a, a decent amount of scholars at this point in the game. So I think that's absolutely fine for him. It's just going to be a matter of time until those upgrades are through. Let's do a little bit of a king question. Where, where are the kings right now? King number one for Averly inside this keep. King number two for the Don. Managing to make it up towards this keep in the corner. And king number three, safe inside the keep on the south side for Marine Lord. So we know where all the keeps are. And I've got a sneaky suspicion that Marine Lord might be thinking about going for a wonder. I don't know why. I, 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 Marine Lord always just strikes me as the guy who wants to make wonders. Maybe because we've already seen him go for the wonder. So that could be the case. When it comes to his military, it's just kind of parked at the moment. He is trading. Only 44 gold coming through, though. So not, not the biggest trade. I mean, realistically, he could look to put down a market up here. I mean, do you have a clear path through? Not really. But then you, you've kind of got Don nearby as well, and that's something that you've got to worry about. Indeed. I, don't, I have no idea what was said just then. That was Abbasid. That was classic Abbasid language. Oh my god. The elephants are a-marching. 16 elephants. And these are, these are tower elephants. Now remember, there is the Hussar Academy back here. And this bad boy acts as a madrasa and generates food per minute based on the number of techs researched. It's currently generating 700 food a minute. That's a lot of food. And all that food, well, that's going into elephants right now. Averly sitting on 11k. 11k food. That is a huge amount of food to be sitting on. The march begins. Starts working towards the keep. Villagers in queue. Don Arty maxed out 260 economic units. 90 military units. Don Arty is maxed out at 350 of 350. A lot of... Oh my god, look at the armor on these units. 14 ranged armor. Crossbows, no chance. Longbows, no chance. Archers, no chance. And cannoneers, no chance, barely. And Don now. Gonna be looking to try and surround them. Keep goes down. Don picks off the first of the elephants. Plenty more where that came from. Crossbows on top of the tower elephants. As they begin to try their best to escape. A little bit of an interesting dock here for Marine Lord. He's actually got... Averly's building a wonder. There it is. Averly builds the wonder. It's the Great Palace of Agra. Getting thrown down in the back of the base. Averly says, actually, I think I can do it. I think I've got the resources for it. Averly looking to make it happen early on. We're 33 minutes into, into this game. And he's putting down a wonder against two of the world's best players. Marine Lord. Playing the Abbasid. And Don Arty on the deli. He's inviting a 2v1 into his base. He's got the elephants on the defense. How is he going to break through this? When you look at the stone walls, you start to wonder, how does Don get through all of this? Doesn't have a whole lot of siege out there. Sitting on 350 pop for the moment. Honestly, the best thing that Don can do in this position, go for a wonder himself and just just be just giga chat it up. You, you want to be a giga chat? How about this for a giga chat move? And then you just, you make the wonder that they just made, but you, you're slightly behind them. And then you kill them, and then you win with the wonder. That's big brain. But Marine Lord, stacking up a lot of resources here. He's just hit his 250 pop. 11k food. 6k wood. Not a lot of gold, though, for Marine Lord. In fact, when we look at the gold on the minimap, where is Marine Lord's gold? He's got one gold here. A second gold towards the center. So he's, he's still got a little bit of gold left. But now that push is going to start to come. Siege workshops being thrown down. Don Arty's outpost does get siege down. The mass for Don. Not really starting to build yet. I mean, he's got a few siege workshops sitting here, though. A lot of resources in the bank as well. He's actually got enough to drop a wonder of his own if he wanted to. I think that the key thing with dropping the wonder is he wants to make sure that he's going to be able to kill the main threat right now, which is Averly. Obviously, Averly, Averly's wonder. Now, one of the things to note is if Don actually scouted out his enemy's base, I think there is a world where he could come, park a whole bunch of trebs up here, and potentially hit the great, the great Palace from there. 
I don't know about you, but to me, like, you look at the edge of this landmark or this wonder, I reckon you could probably have it, have your trebs right here and take that bad boy down. I'm curious if Don looks for it, though. Bombard's under pressure. You can see Averly going straight for the Bombard. It's definitely the right call here. At the same time towards the south. Marine Lord starting to push through. And now the question is, how many villagers does Don Arnie delete here? He's on 267. A casual 267 vils. You know, this is basically... This is like a beastie cutie game in the feudal age. 267 villagers right now. The guy loves to boom. What can I say? And now we hear the deleting coming through. It's down to 236 vils. It's just deleted a whole bunch. Not sure exactly where they were. It's got plenty of vils out. Is that... Don Artie. I didn't realize you were a fan of the... Uh, for, any, for anybody wondering, whenever I'm doing coaching over on Patreon, this is something that I always encourage people to do. Whenever you've got two resources that are next to each other like this, the best, most efficient way to do it is put a mining camp in the middle of them both. And then that way, you only have to make one mining camp to collect both of the resources. And you can see Don here is a, a, an absolute, you know, he is the pioneer of this strategy. He lives by this strategy. I support it, Don. I support your lifestyle. It's big brain stuff. But now those knights, those lancers looking for a way through on the backside. Might look to try and find a way through, but the walls are coming up. And there's some interesting walls. I don't know exactly how I feel about them. But they are interesting. This much can be said. Al you know what? Don's actually got vision up to here. I wouldn't be surprised if Don looks for it. He could go for a little sneaky outpost over the top. I mean, on honestly, fighting up against that many elephants, I wouldn't be surprised if just if Don just comes through this top side. How, how are the elephants going to be able to fit around? You can just leave the walls up that don't have gates in them. Go through all the gated walls. And I suspect he'd be okay. I mean, maybe fighting in the choke point's not the right call against elephants. I probably... I haven't fought enough against elephants in choke points. I, I really don't know the answer to it. Don now 236 vils. Still. He's added in more military, though. Marine Lord on that south side of the map. 176 vils. He's picked up all four of the wings. Up to 28,000 health now in that House of Wisdom. You know, I was actually telling somebody today about the mitigating returns of repairing buildings. I was talking about the House of Wisdom. I remember watching a game. I don't remember who it was that played. And look at... Hold on a minute. We got a whole bunch of scholars just coming out of the blocks here. Bombard's firing down. Looks like Avery trying to get rid of a little bit of population space that he no longer needs. He says, hey, do you mind... Um, do you mind... Oh no, th th those are Don's scholars. Oh, I, th I thought these scholars were from Averly. They, they look so blue. Do they not look blue to you? I mean, I, I, I see the... I, I see the purple now, but... It, it, it just looks different. Marine Lord trying to find an attack on that bottom side. Springles taking out a lot of these bombards, but it looks like they've returned the favor. Indeed, they have. More Sprinkles coming through. Three more on the backside. Roller shutter triggers is through. And Don now looking to fight in the choke point. Ten minutes remain on the wonder. A lot of keeps back here. Should be able to defend it pretty well. As long as they're not up against that big ball of siege, I'll be okay. Averly, not a whole lot of resources in the bank at this point. Sitting on 230 pop still. Mang and L shots are big. They're good. Very well held by Averly for the moment. Now going to be facing an attack on the bottom side. Trams together with the Bombards. Working down these keeps. And Averly just leaving him to his own devices at the moment on that south position. As he forces back Don Arty outside the walls. But Averly starting to fall down. 230 population. He's starting to bleed resources. 9 minutes and 50 seconds is a long time on a map this small. I say this small. It definitely doesn't feel the biggest when you've got Don Arty building a base like this so close to you. Don just going to be able to reinforce... Very easily. On, at, at this point, I mean, I've got God Vision, so it's easy for me to say, but I'd be like, hey, Don, maybe throw down a, a Wonder. I mean, a Wonder's not a terrible idea. I mean, Marine Lord's kind of in a position to do it, doesn't have the res to do it. Don obviously does. Don, Don is well and truly ahead. And we now hear more Vils being deleted for Don. He's down to 211. Just deleted another handful of Vils. Marine Lord's still sitting at 159 Vils, though. Very cheeky from him. No sign that he's willing to give that up. And we hear the Springholds firing off. A little bit of awkward terrain here. Trem's firing down, helping out as well. Mangonels looking to make shots meet, but the Culverin moving forward. Oh, the Culver! Oh, the Culverin! Oh, no! Look, uh, the, the Springholds can fire through the terrain, but the Culverin can't. 
and the Springholds destroy the Calves. Oh, that's terrible. For anybody who doesn't remember what happened, Springholds used to not be able to fire through terrain, and so you'd get what was called a Springled Kiss. But Calverans, it looks like they're still bugged. They had to go for a little bit of a kiss right there. Oh, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible right there. All right, Bombard starting to move through. Averly on 243 population. He's managing to hold. Honestly, he's, he's holding quite well at this point. He doesn't go for a Vill delete because he doesn't really need to at this point. Not, not that he needs to, but he, he can't really support it. And we do see what appeared to be a boat in the ground just for a split second. I know that it wasn't, but it's the same bug that happens. Over on the east side, Don. Still with plenty of villagers over here. Walls have come up for Marine Lord now. He's completely stonewalled in. Nothing over here for Don. And that push now. Marine Lord looking. Trying to get through. He's left this wall up, and it, it means that everything's in a choke point. Mangonel's firing over this large... How big is this? I, I want to see exactly how big this is. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> No wonder the culverins couldn't fire. Look at that thing. There's no way you're firing down that thing. He manages to get a shot over the edge just. Averly, he's now starting to drop quickly. Oh, he's dropping really quickly. Oh, he's lost a lot of bills. He's losing units by the second. Look at him going down. Don Artie just cleaning house now. Don Artie should be really confident with his position. Spear's starting to move through. Elephant's nowhere to be seen. Oh, oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Marine Lord taking out plenty of units back here as well. Averly, less than 100 population. It's all gone to shit within the space of 60 seconds. Averly's gone from 250 pop down to 80. Less than 100 pop. Great Palace of Agra stays alive. But for not much longer. So much siege here from the Don. Plenty of resources in the bank. Don Adi in an incredible spot here. The question's going to be... What happens after Averly goes down? Does Marine Lord just tap out? Does he say, hey, look, man, you've got... You've got... You've picked up so many kills. I don't think I can beat you. Does Marine Lord look to snipe the king himself and then start fighting back? Wonder still not under pressure. Don moving through. The keeps getting dropped down in the middle of the map. Where are the villagers for the Don? We don't see we don't see anything. Just the king safely at the back here. There we go. Don Artie now throwing down a wonder in the back of the base. Any second now. Where's Marine Lord? Where's Marine Lord? Whole bunch of deleted buildings. He's looking for it as well. Trebs firing down on the keeps below. We hear the relics getting picked up. Don snagging away a couple of the relics. He's got that extra population space, so he's able to utilize all these extra scholars that are out here. Marine Lord's got enough resources in the bank now for it as well. We hear the deleting coming through. And Bombard's now starting to fire down upon the walls. The Great Palace of Agra is here. Under real threat, the Siege of Averly. Look at the beautiful keeps. But unfortunately, I don't think they're going to be able to keep themselves alive for much longer. Marine Lord's building a wonder. Where are you, Marine Lord? There you are. Now, one thing to note, he hasn't brought all of his villagers. He's only trickling them in. This is 18 vills. Don Arnie immediately throws down a wonder. We've got a wonder race, but look at the villagers. He's got 64 wonders. He, uh, 64 villagers, rather. Don Arnie going for the wonder race off 64 villagers against Marine Lord, who's only got 21 vills. He's pulling more vills to it now. 1,700 for him. Third, Don's already up, and Averly's wonder goes down. We miss it, but it doesn't even matter. Where's the king? Where's the king? The king's in the castle. King going to be going down right now. Any second, Don looking like he might secure this kill here. Could potentially snipe it out. You can see him trying to box out. Don Artie completes the one up before Marine Lord on the south side of the map. Marine Lord not even halfway through. And for anybody wondering what that means, that means that Marine Lord... Don Artie assassinates Averly! Oh, <laughs> he got the kill! Don Artie, an absolute machine this game, going on an absolute mission. He's got the wonder kill. He gets the king kill. 
He's taken out four kings this game, puts the one in the back of the base. He was prepared. He was ready. He sent 64 villagers in the back of the showers. And Marine Lord, a little bit too slow off the mark. He could have outpaced Don Arty, but instead, he's too slow. And now we see Marine Lord with 14 minutes and 50 seconds compared to Don, who's 30 seconds up on him. That means Marine Lord now has to go the entire length of the map. He has to deny this great palace of Agra either that or he takes the sacred sites that's his only other option and i tell you what on a map like this there is not much chance of that don Artie's army is massive he's 300 400 population i take it back 400 population for the don he's in an incredible spot i don't think there's any way and it's good game a marine lord surrenders he says you know what i respect your position i respect your people i respect where you come from it's good game and don Artie with a massive victory in outback octagon 2 week 3 Let's take a look at the timeline right here. Don Arty just bringing it home right there. An incredible game from the Don. We can see him moving up above that 250 village account, climbing to the heavens. Take a look at the military count towards the end there. Averly just falling off so quickly. I don't know. Where did it go wrong for Averly? Where did it go wrong for him? It felt so good. He was holding in that pocket. Maximum population. He had plenty of vills. And then all of a sudden, I, I looked back and he's sitting at 100 pop. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know what went wrong. If you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed this game of Outback Octagon. Make sure you check out all the creators that are inside this game right now. I'm going to leave a link in the description of where you can watch them all live over on Twitch. So come say good day, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.